Hi everyone, so this video is on drawing linear graphs, which are drawing straight line graphs, okay? <clears throat> so the one that you're going to um, be doing in your assessment is on, it has a table there prepared for you, that's the same in every exam paper, they'll always put a table in, and you will have to fill in the missing values and then draw the graph yourself, okay? So I'm going to go through a couple of these with you to show you how they work. So this first one, it's we want to draw the graph of y equals 2x minus plus 1, okay? So there's already some values put in the table for you. And what the values of x are, you'll always be given x, okay? And that is, so if I replace x in this equation with negative 1, this is what the y value would be. So this is what it would equal. So remember, this means 2 times the x plus 1, okay? So let's check it for this one. So 2 times, if x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. Let's check it for this one. 2 times 3 would be 6, plus the 1 is 7, okay? So you can fill in the other two blanks. So, you, so for this one, we do 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 1, which is 3. And then the last one, 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1 is 5. OK, and then all you have to do is plot the points on the graph. So the graph is drawn for you and the axes are drawn. So these are the coordinates. So we've got negative one, negative one, which is there. We've got zero, one. We've got one, three, two, five, three, seven. And what you should find is that these join up without any of the, of the coordinates being out of line. Okay, so one of them isn't up here. Okay, they're all in line with each other. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do C. Okay, so 2x take away 3. Okay, so we're doing 2 times x take away 3. So two. I'll do the positives first. Positives are easier than the negatives, so do those first. So 2 times 2 is 4, take away 3 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6, take away 3 is 3. Okay? 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So I'm on negative 2 and I need to take 3 away. So I end up going further down the number line, so it's negative 5. Okay? So if I was to draw this one again, so we're starting on negative 1, but this time it's at negative 5. Okay? Then it's 0, negative 3, 1, negative 1, 2, 1, 3, 3. So you can see, they're all nicely in line again. Okay? So that's all you have to do. Um, and it's just important to make sure you remember that you're just substituting in the values for x into the equation. Okay.